Hi, I'm Dr. John Boyu, and I'm speaking with you from our Biosonic Stone Ridge studio uh, in New York. And the, this particular uh, video is about what is the difference between a biosonic tuning fork and other types of tuning forks. And before I really tap other tuning forks with biosonic forks, I want to say that I originated this idea of tuning forks over 48 years ago. Uh, I was in an anechoic chamber. Uh, the concept came to me that yes, I can tune my nervous system with tuning forks, and I immediately began to find out what tuning forks I would want to use. It became very clear to me from the beginning and this became clear based on my training in music, also on my understanding of the healing arts, that if we want to tune people, we're going to need overtones. Now an overtone is very simple. If you hear one sound, that one sound when the string vibrates or when the wind vibrates, it creates other tones. They're called overtones. So you listen to a C on a piano and you listen to a C on a flute, or a C on a guitar, they're the same C, but they sound different in terms of tonality because they create different overtones or louder and softer. The overtone series also in mysticism was called the stairway to heaven. So this idea of a tuning fork that just has one tone, and most steel forks are really good just for one tone, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a tuning fork that you could tap. It would sound many tones based on one tone. So I just want to show you now, uh, and it took me a, a good number of years to convince tuning fork manufacturers to make a tuning fork that would create the overtones and ring the overtone series in a way that could be correct loud, loud enough to last a good amount of time, and to create them so they could be more like musical instruments than tuning forks. And at the time, the idea of a tuning fork being a musical instrument was not even in people's consciousness. So uh, after years of work and years of different trials, we came up with the alloys, uh, specific alloys, that would ring the overtones correctly. Uh, so I'm going to tap for you uh, our Biosonic C and G, and uh, when I tap it, you'll hear it ring. And when you tap them together, it's, there's, although it's two tuning forks, there's going to be many sounds. So if I tap and move them, you can hear the ringing and there's many overtones that are happening all at once. These, these could be measured on what's called an audio spectrometer, uh, but the goal really in the production of these was to have a good bass tone. It's like the bass of a fountain that when the sounds came, they would, they would just make a lot of different sounds and all of those overtones have different intervals which really relate directly to how the human body grows and the Fibonacci series. And I want to really bring this out. That's what we call a biosonic tuning fork. I know that there are other tuning forks out there. I don't, I compare them the way I would different pianos, uh, meaning that one could have a Steinway or one could have an old upright or a cheap studio piano. Uh, and my goal was truly to make what I would call the Steinway of tuning forks. But here is another pair of tuning forks. I like to collect them. Uh, these came from uh, Pakistan, and they're tuned to C and G, just like the other tuning forks. You can see they're smaller. Uh, they cost a lot less because they're easier to make. They have a softer alloy. And normally the people who come out with these have no concept whatsoever of the importance of the overtones. A lot of times they're even copying by descriptions, uh, so or they're altering them slightly. So I'm going to tap these and just see if you can hear the difference.
and they don't ring very long. And you can tell you can't, the overtones aren't there. So if I tap them, side, really, I'm gonna do them quickly now so you can hear the difference between the two. I'll put these in my lap. Here's the Biosonic. They're still going, they'll go a long time. And you can hear the, the richness of the sound. It's rich with the overtones. And I even stopped them because I want to show you now if I go with the other tuning forks. That's it. So you can really hear the difference. And normally speaking, like I said, there's a lot of different brands of tuning forks. Uh, some of them are really good I mean, in terms of there being more like an upright piano or a baby grand. Uh, but again, I want the best. So I've worked for the last over 48 years to create what I, what I call the best tuning fork possible for human tuning. And that's what we call our biosonic tuning forks.